Good morning guys, it's Natalie here. So I just wanted to share something short and quick with you all. Um, so I've been reading this Devo on um, the YouVersion Bible app and it's called Dawn is Coming. And it's just been all about worshiping God in um, the darkness, like all those moments before the dawn when it's dark, like just worshiping God in those moments. And it's actually kind of funny. I um, There's one, the one for today, just talked about... Um, how God is with you in your night terrors. Like when you're in the dark places and when it is nighttime and you're having those like night terrors. Now it's kind of talking about metaphorical night terrors and like a metaphorical darkness, like dark times in your lives. Um, but I actually kind of took it on like a physical level, like physical darkness. Um, and it's actually kind of embarrassing, but I'm just gonna be real with you all. So I am very afraid of the dark. I have never like, from when I was little to now being 21 years old, I will um, I will make sure a light is on before I turn off the previous light. So if I'm turning off, if I'm heading to bed for the night and if I turn off the kitchen light, I make sure the living room light is on and then I make sure the hallway light is on before I turn it off all the way until I get to my bedroom. Um, and even like at night, sometimes I hate being the last one to turn off the light because I don't wanna, that, that little bit of time where it's super dark before I, you know, when I hit the light switch and head to bed, I don't like, I've never really liked the dark. Um, I think it's just more of like not liking the unknown and not liking what, um, not knowing what is in that darkness, you know? Okay, so I read the Devo for today and uh, I'm gonna read it with you all. It's, oh, it's so good. And so okay, it says, when we find our hearts fearing the darkness, we've forgotten who is truly seated at the throne the king of glory the light of the world the prince of peace the lord of heavenly hosts our misplaced fear of the shadows is overcome when we turn from staring at our doomed opponent and face the light the true dawn set your focus on jesus let worship mark your life surrender yourself to him in the sunshine and in the shadows face the dawn you can rest assured he'll sort the rest out and that just really resonated with me because it says that when we allow our hearts to be overcome by fear, we're not trusting that God is on the throne. We're not trusting that He is the light of the world and that He has our back and that we are going to be victorious. So whether it's a physical darkness that you're afraid of or whether you have, um, you know, like just darkness in your life or um, whatever it is, if it's your thoughts, if it's your past, whatever it is, I just encourage you to just remember that um, to not let your heart be overcome by those fears to not let your heart um, just resonate in the darkness and just remember that the dawn is coming, that light is coming and that there is light at the end of the tunnel. You're gonna get through this. So I know it's kind of cheesy, but it you know it touched me. So I'm just hoping it'll touch one of you all. So, all right, let me pray. Dear Lord, I just thank you for being there in the darkness. I thank you for being a light and for always promising to be there for us. I thank you for being on the throne, Lord. I just pray that any time that we are overcome by fear or darkness or we're scared, that you remind us that you are on the throne and that you've already written this story from beginning to end and that we are going to come out victorious. I thank you for all you're doing. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, family. Thank you so much for joining and make sure to tune in tomorrow.